Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shibby, and today we're playing some more Smite. I know, it's uh, been a while, but I saw hi Res was streaming. Uh, I mean, they stream every day, but for some reason I saw Bart and Spoon were on, and I'm like, you know what? I need to play more Smite. So, what we're doing today is Al Kwong, and we're playing Arena, because I think Arena is a good way to warm up when you have not played a while. It's not like you're playing Conquest and then getting laning or getting put against a whole bunch of other characters or gods that you're not really familiar with yet just because like I don't really know how to deal with uh, probably there's five new gods since I've really played last for real so we're gonna be jumping around here in the gameplay and I'll be kind of explaining uh, my basics of what I do and yeah we will be getting a two in depth just because I think it would be a uh, not doing a service of uh, my skill level and like recommending builds and all that but anyways, so that was my ultimate, or my four. I think that's a pretty good idea to use it, especially when you have one god lined up. So your mirror was using his ultimate, I was out of that AoE, and then pretty much just lined him up. Once again, that is my four or ultimate, and then I'll be using my three here shortly. That is my tornadoes, pretty much the bread and butter of AK or Al Kwong. That clears all my minion waves, essentially if you place it right. I still don't have perfect placement. But once it's strong enough, pretty much anything will do. So, what I took as my job for this is playing cautiously, not diving in there because being a mage or a caster, I am pretty squishy. I can uh, not really take too much damage. And even if I could take a few hits, I really have no escape. I do have my two, which increases my movement speed. And I believe movement speed of allies around me. But anyways, it's not very good. So your two, it's probably the last thing you want to level up. I started with my 3, my 1, and then my ult when I can. Dodging the other AK ult, usually placing my ult when I can hit multiple enemies. My dragon will go from the top. You can usually see it coming. And hopefully you hit some people because it does massive damage. Also, knockback, so it kind of disorientates the enemy. You saw that I got another kill there. I believe that was from my tornado after effect, which damages enemy gods when they step out of my AoE. So pretty much Tornadoes is freaking awesome. Definitely spam it as much as you can. One item I would recommend is the Kronos Pennant. I know a lot of people don't love that item, but it helps with the cooldown. It gives you a lot of MP regen, and I just think it's good. As for everything else in my loadout, I, I don't really know if I'm doing the right order, but I think Arena is more fun. A better word to describe that would be forgiving so you can get away with doing more stupid things. Example of my Tornado AoE after effect, hurting that Sung Wukong, so yeah, spamming your three, leveling it up. I think leveling your three is honestly more important than leveling your ultimate at times, just because, yes, your ult does scale pretty well and it does mad damage. I think in the long run, your Tornadoes will be doing more for you. So once again, I'm just jumping around the gameplay I think the places where I got kills are just kind of like interesting plays because this round was about 22 minutes long. And I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really have enough smite stuff to talk to you guys about for 22 minutes. And I think this will be more interesting, just more digestible, kind of a fun little gameplay. You see some kills here and there. I think you guys will like that a lot more. Placing my three down on Ymir, hitting him with my one. And then once again, my threes after effect coming through strong damages the enemy for about three seconds every half second. Sung Wukong here jumping on top of me and notice how I get the kill here. This is one strategy you could use if you had more health is when some AD character that you know is in your face whacking you gets on you, put your three down at your feet and then dance around inside the AOE which will be damaging that character which is trying to fight you in most cases. Try to hit them with a one, probably don't want to waste your ultimate but I mean, if you really want to stay alive, that could be an option. So you could try that. I mean, I, it works for me sometimes if escaping is not really viable. So I think that's a good idea. Yeah, there, there your mirror here was just way too want to get in the action. I, he just was not playing too smartly. I mean, I'm surprised he's still alive, but I was able to get him with my one, which throws out a little blast of wind. It does damage and also slows enemies that get hit by its blast radius. Uh, sometimes I get a little spammy with it, which I should be saving, like I'll just waste it on one minion. That's kind of bad, but it kind of does happen. For some reason I wanted to use my 
Aegis there, it, not really a good idea, but once again, the tornado is coming through strong with the after kill, so just kind of a interesting times. Now, with my loadout, I do like using the Void Stone on AK and the Warlock Sash, and I also had the Doom Orb, which in this gameplay only died twice. I think I ended with like seven kills, so I did have full stacks on my Doom Orb, which uh, really did help. I should probably get the Warlock Sash first to get that all farmed out. But it really depends. Sometimes if you're like playing mid on some conquest that the Doom Orb is a good idea. But once again, don't go buy my builds. I'd probably look at some website. But uh, yeah, you guys will be seeing more Smite gameplay. I'm not saying every day, but uh, every now and then. Uh, definitely do enjoy it. It's, uh, it's fun, hopefully to get to play with the guys soon. It looks like I ended that round 9 kills, 2 deaths, 13 assists. I did have the best gold for minute farm. Also, looks like I had the most gold earned. Yep, and also the most creep damage next to their uh, AK. So the other AK was also doing a lot of uh, good creep going on. Anyways, yeah, did a lot of uh, good stuff there. Played kind of conservatively, but I think staying alive is better than just getting yourself killed. And yeah, playing smart. So uh, overall, the team did all right. Their your mirror was a little ballsy, and uh, somehow their AK did a lot of creep damage while being like one in five. Anyways, my name's Shibby. Subscribe for more if you're new to my channel. Hopefully I'll see you next time.